What's going on Fortnite fans, my name's Jack is the creator, and in this video we're going to be dropping into Westworld 20 times. Westworld is certainly a fan favourite unnamed location, and today I'll show you why. Shout out to our Lord and Master, Luke the Notable, for inspiring this video concept, and let's get into game number one. Hey, this is game one, thanks for checking in. Game one was a hot bus into Westworld, which means everyone and their mom is dropping here. My competition mostly consisted of robots because this is game 1 and Fortnite is for children. Westworld is a pretty small location but it has a lot of loot spawns, which means that you should generally be equipped for battle. Oh hey, is that a Diplodoculus? This one was looking to be a final circle around Lonely Lodge, so naturally I went all the way to the top of the tower for supreme visuals over the POI. I could see a tantalising chest outside so I decided to risk it, and I got a gold RPG out of it, this will be important later. When the storm came, I just used my rift to go to safely glide down to the final circle. I landed in my opponent's build, and this porter fortress gave me control over the situation. So anyway, I started blasting. With a gold RPG and a purple pump and stop, all I had to do was be as annoying as possible, and in the end, it worked and I took home the game 1 win. Game 2 I landed on the red house and got a hand cannon and a blue tack, which I swiftly used on this unarmed default. I'd like to apologise for the absolutely terrible gameplay in this clip, it's oh. It's so bad, please just let it be over. Okay. Slightly north of Westworld is this little oasis. It has a lot of palm trees and is a pretty great spot to farm wood. I got my hands on the quad crasher and, naturally, immediately tried to fly. I made my way up to Salty Springs where the guy I was fighting was salted on, and then shortly after, so was I. Game 3, I had supremely good luck. You see, I already had a P90, then when I bashed to this chest, it gave me a purple pump, then just mere moments later I got a purple scar out of another chest. Guess the Pueblo gods are shining down on me today. I found this weird structure in the desert which gave me none other than the grapple glove. I like this item, it's basically a dollar store Spider-Man and it's super fun to swing around and catch people by surprise. Using my supreme loadout I was able to drop right onto this fight at Tomato Temple and get a tasty triple kill. The end of this game wasn't great. I failed to get the element of surprise, I missed a lot of shots, it, it was pretty bad. Game 4, I was first on the ground, which means that all of the loot was mine, and so is all the bloodthirst! Of course, quite close to Westworld is Paradise Palms. Paradise Palms is a great POI, it has a lot of loot, and more importantly, a lot of kills. I was investigating this ramp when I jumped too far and flung myself off the edge of the map. I had a moment of panic as I desperately grappled my way back up. After that harrowing experience, I made my way to Retail Row, where I interrupted this fight. He knew I had a rocket launcher, I don't know why he left his box open like this, it, it's stupid! I don't know how this man evaded my rocket, but he didn't evade a shotgun to the face. At this point, I just... I just feel kind of bad. Yeah, I'd say I got an appropriate amount of karma for that one. Game 5 demonstrates why everyone should have a good home insurance policy. You never know when a rogue fish stick will break in. I played this clay shooting minigame and yeah, I'm pretty bad at it. Let's just move on. The competition wasn't that strong game 5. Yep. I'm pretty sure this is a bot lobby. I built up on a porter fortress at Tomato Temple, which allowed me to take some cheeky pot shots at nearby fights, which got me this kill. In the end, it was a 1 vs 1 where I took too much damage, missed too many shots, and he was just the better player. Game 6, I was innocently farming mats when this Dr. Sloan emerged. That was a difficult fight. Westworld is quite far out, so you can expect some pretty fast storms. This means passing by fatal fields, which usually isn't a big deal, but this man had buggy bombs. Game 7, I had a nice rocket launcher off spawn. Unfortunately, I had to go AFK and was cruelly gunned down in the street. Game 8, I had some clingers and a dream. I made it all the way to retail where I was caught in a gang war. Days too confused, I was easily taken out. Game 9 was relatively quiet. And then Salty Springs happened! I think the loot density was what made so many people fall in love with Westworld. There were chests pretty much everywhere. But all the loot in the world won't stop you from getting SHOT IN THE FACE! Oh look, a llama. I'll be back for you. I don't know in what world a 6 shooter versus LMG fight should end this way, but hey, I guess I'm just too good. Oh, and don't worry, I got that llama too. Pretty sure I'm being haunted as someone clearly walked past here, but when I went to investigate, there was no one to be found. You know, riding this zipline headfirst into several bullets probably wasn't the smartest decision I've ever made. Game 12, I entirely missed the drop, so I guess we're going to this little shack. 
Oh, don't you worry. I wasn't too late to get some sweet kills. I could see this rogue ATK in Paradise Palms, so using my drift board I dropped in and hit him with the old boogie bomb pump combo. This was a sweaty soldier though, and he knocked me down, but using my superior evasion skills, I got the kill. This gold trooper left me on red, so I did what had to be done. Yeah, her boyfriend wasn't too happy. Guess you could say he ghosted me. Can we take a quick break from the action to appreciate just how pretty the whole desert is? Uh oh, hold on. Anyway, when dealing with a clone, you should never underestimate the power of a clean pump shotgun. Remember kids, if a scoped assault rifle won't do the job, a rocket launcher will. I saw this big scary build battle that I probably shouldn't drop on, and immediately dropped on it. Yeah, that checks out. Game 14 was a real long bus into Worst Worlds, but don't ever think that means you're safe from competition here. I landed on a scoped AR in this drift, a blue pump. Now I don't know how, honestly I don't, but somehow, I won that fight. Later on I was caught out in the open, and with no heals and only 9 health, yeah, I didn't last long. Game 15 is a real low point in my Fortnite career, I, yeah, it, it was bad. I'm still not great with it by any means, but the heavy AR is definitely growing on me. Turns out, I'm also pretty good at dying! I gave Epic Games my money, so I gotta win game 17 now. I didn't! Game 18, if you betted on me jumping in someone's box and immediately dying... Well, you were half right. In fact, I did it twice! This Omega Knight didn't even see it coming. Did you ever hear of the guy who got sniped while healing out in the open? Me neither. I think I bamboozled this poor default. It's okay, default. It'll be over soon. I snuck up on this burnout opening a supply drop but stupidly blew myself up, had a little scuffle and then got killed by a third party anyway. Game 19 I gave this poor envoy no time to react. I felt threatened by this Roxas Porta Fortress, but always remember, it's not about the size, it's how you use it. Oh, and this Skull Trooper showed up just to get shot in the face! The final circle was around Wailing Woods, so I was just trying to inconspicuously blend into the treetops. And in the end, it was close, I just didn't quite make it out of the storm. Quite nearby to Westworld is the Truckin' Oasis, a little gas station with some neat loot. It's great for metal as well. And in game 20, I made it all the way up to Pleasant Park, which wasn't very pleasant at all. Westworld is easily one of the most iconic Fortnite locations without even having a formal name, and that's for good reason. It is a fantastic drop spot, and it just has a certain charm to it. And I'm chuffed that I got to drop here 20 times. That's it for this one, Fortnite fans. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss the next 100 or 20 drops. Stay creative, and I'll see all of you in the next video.